Hey, welcome back to Ramsey Land. Today I want to show you the double displacement precipitation reaction between calcium chloride and sodium carbonate. Check this out. All I'm using in this investigation is sodium carbonate, calcium chloride, my dropper, my heat gun, two graduated cylinders having 100 milliliters of distilled water, and my spoon. Begin by measuring out four grams of calcium chloride. Next, add your calcium chloride to 100 milliliters of distilled water and stir the solution until it becomes aqueous. Next, measure out four grams of sodium carbonate on your metric scale. Since this reaction is also exothermic, I wanted to get a base rating for both solutions. So this is our aqueous solution of sodium bicarbonate, and right now its temperature is reading, it's like about 67 degrees Fahrenheit. And let's get a base rating for our solution of calcium chloride. A little warmer around 70 degrees Fahrenheit. So when we combine these, we're gonna take the temperature again and see if it climbs. Okay, at this point, both solutions are homogenized. Remember over here is our sodium carbonate. Over here is our calcium chloride solution. Now in a double displacement reaction, the positive metal ions are gonna trade places. So the calcium chloride is gonna become calcium carbonate. That's the insoluble white precipitate that you'll see. And over here, our sodium carbonate is gonna become sodium chloride. So I'm gonna take a drop of our calcium chloride and I'm going to add it to our sodium carbonate and you'll see that white precipitant form immediately. Look at that. That's our calcium chloride changing into calcium carbonate, also known as chalk. Now this is also an exothermic reaction so I want to test our heat gun here and see how hot it is. Yep. It's already up to 98.6 degrees Fahrenheit, up from 70 degrees when we started. Very exothermic reaction. Here's a close-up of that calcium carbonate that is falling out of the solution. That is the insoluble solid precipitate that forms in this double displacement reaction. And calcium carbonate is simply what we use for chalk. So what's going on in this really cool double displacement precipitation reaction is you start out with the reactants, calcium chloride, that's the CaCl2, and sodium carbonate, that's the Na2CO3. When those combine, the positive metal ions of calcium and sodium trade places, and so you get the products, calcium carbonate, that's the CaCO3, that's the white insoluble precipitate that we use as chalk, and of course, sodium chloride, that's the two. To NaCl that stays in the aqueous solution. Now, since the oxidation number of atoms in this reaction do not change, this is not considered a redox reaction. I hope you enjoyed today's edition of Ramsey Land, and I'll see you next time.